last week, we can delete our users and then it'll automatically delete them from the screen without refreshing the page thanks to some remote JS. However, what we're going to do today is similar to our new function when we create a user, we want to also be able to edit a user and instead of having it go to a separate page, we want a model to pop up. However, what we do not want to do is in the background to render a model for each one of these. If the user is only going to edit one of the users, then we don't want to go ahead and load in the background all of the models, but instead just use remote.js again to insert into a container the model that we are wanting to edit. So that's going to make your page not only load faster, but also not load unnecessary data. So within our layout file, the first thing I'm going to do is create a div and we need to give this a ID and I'm just going to call this remote container. You are able to give any kind of ID here, but just make it something unique that you know that you're not going to be using elsewhere in your application. Next in our user partial where we are calling the edit link, let's just simply call a remote true on this. Then in our users controller, under the edit action, we can find the user based on the parameter that we're passing. However, because we have a before action calling the private method set user, which is already doing that for the show, edit, update, and destroy actions, we don't actually need to put anything in here. We can just leave it blank, but just know that it is setting the at user instance variable already. Next, we can delete our edit.html.erb because we're actually not going to be using this anymore. But instead, we're going to want to create a file called edit.js.erb. And within here, we want to reference to our container that we created earlier, that div tag. So we can just call remote container. And instead of rendering in the HTML, escaping the JavaScript, the at user, we could actually call our user's form. And from here, we would want to edit the user form so it's going to display a model. And let's just call this edit user for now. So we can then just call a, another JavaScript command here. And let's call our, give it a ID the, for the model of edit user. And then we can call model parentheses show. And then in our form partial, if we just paste in or put this in here where it's very similar to our new user model, but instead of calling user.new, we're just calling our at user and still passing remote true on this. So it will post it with the remote JavaScript. And we'll then be able to call an update.js.erb to hide the model and then update our row. So do take note that for this model, we are using the ID edit user. So now if we edit one of our users, you'll see over on the right that it is being passed over as a JavaScript request. If we close it and then click on another user, you see that again, it's making just another JavaScript request and it's just replacing that remote container contents with the model and then displaying the model. So then in our controller, once we update our user, we can then call update.js.erb. So let's create that new file. And let's go ahead and save it, update.js.erb. And what we want to do is to hide the model. So we can just loop through each one of the models, make sure that it gets hidden. So just some little jQuery here. And then what we need to do is we need to replace the contents of our user's row so we can see that it has been updated. So if you remember the edit action is going to call a.html, which that's going to replace the contents of this remote container tag, leaving the actual remote container alone is just replacing everything inside. However, we need to replace the entire partial our user to update. So we need to replace the TR, the whole row, including the row itself, because we don't want to keep nesting this tr inside of itself. So calling HTML won't work. So if we reference this user ID column here, so if we reference a user ID tag here, 
we can then call replace with. And this will replace everything inside of it, including the element itself. So we're going to render. And then we're going to call at user. And this should be all that we have to do with it. So now if we edit one of our users like Ori here, if we just change the first name to something like Cobalt, now when you update it, you see the patch come through, it then calls the update.jsierb, and it automatically replaces this element entirely. So next time, before you start loading up all the models for a index, before really thinking, will this user actually go through and use each one of these models? So instead, let's just load it in the background as needed and requested. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.